Hello YouTube, March 30th, 2016, and I know y'all about sick of these darn on um, once upon a time like videos that is just all out of sequence. Like you see the darn on after video before the before video. You see the video on the 25th, and then you see a video on the 24th, and then you see a video on the 14th, and then you see a video on the 22nd in that order. It's like, Lord Jesus, one. I know, it has been a rough two weeks for me. And every time I seem like I try to get stuff together, it's always something else getting thrown at me. As y'all know, I'm in darn gone braces, motherfucking ass, North Carolina. And we now got this darn gone Pat McCoy situation going on. Child. Pat McCoy done the side that darn gone. Amendment number two bill in North Carolina and all hell broke. Like, you thought motherfucking North Carolina was the post state before. We showed up the darn on third world country of the darn on United States now because motherfucker, we none of got. I can't wait till that son of a bitch is gone. I can't wait till that son of a bitch is gone. And another thing, my phone keep going off two seconds. You'd think it'd be some important shit. But it's my AOL. Ain't nothing else popping off but my AOL. But anyways, y'all heard that Governor McCoy gonna pass Amendment Number Two in North Carolina, and within 24 hours, you had the NFL, the NBA, and Disney, three multi-billion-dollar companies, all protest. No, four. Apple, and then Governor McCoy going to play dumb to the bullshit, talking about. Well, I haven't heard from nobody. I haven't heard about nobody protesting. Matter of fact, I had three a hundred companies um I'm actually applied in my efforts. Okay, three hundred um little small mom and pop shops compared to four multi billion dollar companies that grosses millions upon millions of millions of millions for North Carolina. You you you, you just gonna ignore them, right? You you just gonna know an apple that brings tens of millions of dollars to the state for about three hundred companies who all together probably don't even gross ten million to the state of North Carolina with taxes. I'm just saying. So yeah, with that going on, I've been looking at at the campaign things like it wasn't enough for me to be trying to look at all these platforms. Now we got another primaries coming up in July, which I got to stay up on the date of that. Because a lot of, I'm in darn on Fayetteville, a lot of uneducated motherfuckers. I got to, once again, get them to the voting polls like we did with them um, a couple weeks ago. <sighs> See, I'm getting out of darn on breath just mentioning this. Um, I did my exercise earlier today. That's another reason why I'm out of breath. You know, Kiara Lachey, when she does them exercises, they tire you out, like... She got the half hour exercise. I did the whole lower body exercise today to scope my legs, you know, get the Beyonce figure right. I'm getting my legs and stuff right for the darn on when I get ready to go to work in the next couple weeks. Um, yeah, and that's been whooping my ass because I know once I start working, I the only exercise I'm going to be doing is strength training and yoga with all the flexibility and all of that with the job. But yeah, I wanted to focus on my main cardio and stuff like that hmm, for now. But back to Pat McCoy. Yeah, I'm I'm signing up to be on the campaign for this upcoming election come November and educate my community on who to vote for. So I'm looking at everybody from the governor, lieutenant governor, attorney general, darn on treasury office, everybody. We need somebody to place Roy um, Cooper when he leaves the Attorney General office because we putting his ass in the governor position. As soon as he drops down from Attorney General, we, we putting him as the governor. And we need a good, strong lieutenant governor. And then we're going to need to put a replacement in for darn on Roy Cooper for the vacant Attorney General slot. So I'm looking at all of that. But that dang on McCord, he know his days are numbered. April, May, June, July, August, September, October. He got motherfucking eight months. He got eight months. I don't know what day he gets kicked out. I know, you know, with the presidency, the um, Hillary or Bernie or Kasich or um, Ted Cruz 
they won't officially take the role of presidency until the 20th of next year. You know how you know who the next president is in November, but they don't start the job until January. I don't know when the darn old governor um, starts the job, but the motherfucker needs to start. Um, whoever wins needs to start the job that next day. And y'all notice how I didn't say Trump on the low. I said Ted Cruz, Kasich, um, Hillary Clinton, and Bernie Sanders. Those are the only four candidates I think is worth. Uh, I'm sticking by that one. Those are the only four that y'all should be paying attention to. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's what's been going on with me. Another thing is I'm restricted to four hours in a motherfucking day. Four hours. Most people got 14 hours. Deep one only got four. And lately I've been sleeping in because my party and mother, she's be up one, two o'clock in the morning. So excuse me if Deep one can't get out of bed to 10 because I can't get to bed to motherfucking two. And that done cut into my four hours. Because if you get up at 10, we got 11, 12, 1, 2. Four hours. Because I usually it's six hours, but I can't find myself to get up at 8 o'clock no more. I can't. I can I, I, How much I set my little old phone for 7.30, I always end up sitting 8.30. And then I end up sleeping past that alarm, and I don't get out of bed till like 9 something. And then, you know... Wash your face, wash up, and I, and you know with me with my beauty routine throughout the week, I got to sneak my routine in in the morning's time. So it's not about me just hopping in the shower and getting out. I got to do my whole beauty regimen. You know, I got to do my you know, I enzyme, and then I do my chemical peel on Fridays whenever I can. I do a body peel on Fridays, and I do an enzyme on Wednesdays. And then my in between, I would do my exfoliate. One of the days I I might do exfoliation with my sugar scrub. So three days a week, I'm doing my you know exfoliation routine, my lotion down routine, and all of that, keeping the skin nice and luminous and glowing and all of that good stuff. That takes a good hour out of the day. And then I got to schedule a whole day. Usually I schedule the same day as my chem my body peel, my hair. On Fridays I will style out my hair, or whatever. I haven't even had my hair out none this week. That's that's how busy of a week it's been. This motherfucking phone keeps just giving me AOL messages every two minutes. Yet it doesn't even give me my Gmail messages no more or my Yahoo. I got to literally click on the icon to see what messages I got. This phone is a damn trip. Like, Rihanna done dropped another teaser video. Let me see. What, what what she done drop now? Okay, she got kiss it better. We we gonna see how that works, y'all. Okay, y'all see it. She got to kiss it better, y'all. I'm I I think she could have did a full song to Desperado. That's my opinion. Desperado. Oh, oh my God. Oh, wait a minute. She does got a full version of the song Desperado, but I can't wait till the video of Desperado. And then she only made Gotham a darn minute and 29 seconds. I still can't get over that right there. But yeah, that's basically what's going on. I haven't even had time to really do much else. I mean, this voting has consumed my life within the little bit of four hours that I have. And These are some treacherous times. We are in the midst of World War Three. I mean, look at it. Look, I, child. They they just show that son of a bitch face. Hold on. Look, there you go. That motherfucking Pat McCoy. His ass getting the hell out of here. You smiling now, but your ass is about good as gone and got dang on seven, eight months. Ooh, child, just seeing him flash across my TV screen and piss me the fuck off. All over again. Goddamn Pat McCoy. I don't even feel like talking about no topics. It ain't even really been nothing to talk about. I mean, let me see what I got in my notes. Last thing I got in my notes was about Hillary Clinton. I done did a video on Hillary. Um... Let me see. 
Yeah, I haven't even updated my notes for this week, y'all. It's really been a dry week. I mean, yeah. I don't even feel like talking about Beyonce, um, cousin. I'm like, God, okay, she got a big booty, so what? Um, uh, everything come big out of Texas, and it's not even a cousin; it's a friend of the darn on family. So she got a big old booty. Okay, it is what it is. Like. Ooh. Was that nation news that somebody got a bigger butt than Beyonce? There's plenty of people with bigger butts than Beyonce. But can they move like Beyonce? Can they hold a note like Beyonce? Okay, case closed. Beautiful girl. I mean, gorgeous. But, yeah. Was it worthy of talking about it for, like, on Yahoo and... Google and well, you know the Breakfast Club with Charlemagne, his ass was gonna bring it up, but I didn't feel it was a need to be on every platform about somebody's rear end just being big. Like I, I don't get that. Y'all act like it, it's uncommon for somebody to have a big booty. Like it, it, that that's just got to be newsworthy. Yeah, I I, I don't get that. I, I don't get that. And this phone, once again, acting on up now, going to send me to my Facebook Messenger. But, yeah, that's all. And then I seen the issue with K. Michelle yesterday with Angeline. Make a long story short on that. K. Michelle, you went overboard. The girl tried to defend you. I don't think she brought it up, really. It was already on the su they was already on the subject, and they was just closing it out. And Angeli brought it up. Well, like she inadvertently brought it back up, but she did not originate it. If that makes sense, like she did not originate the comment. They was already sort of talking about it. I think Charlemagne was the one who originally brought up the whole subject to begin with. But you didn't clock at during on Charlemagne. You were gonna cuss Angeli out. More so for bringing the situation back up when she didn't even bring the original story up, if that makes sense. Like, they talked about it for like a minute and then it was dying down. And then Angela brought it back up to your defense because she was like, she was like, well, wait a minute. You're going to say that about K. Michelle, but you was the one eating it. And then he said, no, my homeboys was. And she was like, well, they were still eating it anyway. That makes them nasty. So... She actually brought it back up to somewhat defend you. She didn't. She could have did better at defending you. Now that we know the relationship between y'all two, that she's close with the um, comp with the label. But at least she did somewhat half ha half ass tried to um. At least she somewhat tried to half ass um defend you. Oh, Bonnie Blue accepted my friend request. Oh, I'm sorry. I I got sidetracked, y'all. I sent Bonnie Blue a darn on. With Chris many, many moons ago. Um, like, I, I want to say that was about two, three months ago. But I, she did say she don't like nobody who posts, you know, rather explicit content. And y'all know Diva Wine don't usually post content like that at all. But that particular week, I did forget that I, I did do a full body picture on my Instagram where I was showcasing my stomach. So I guess she seen that one and didn't accept me at the time, but yeah, I guess she seen all the pictures everywhere and saying, okay, that's that was a once in a blue moon thing. Yeah, Demon Wine don't really show herself off like that. But anyways, back to the case at hand. I think we was talking about I done lost my train of thought, y'all. I done lost my train of thought thinking about Bonnie Blue don't accept my friend request. But anyways, yeah, that's all that's been going on. Oh, and waiting for this bank to contact me back with the approval or denial for this loan. Um, be 48 hours at this point. So, if not, I'm just going to go on here. You know what? I think I'm just going to go on here and contact. I probably don't have enough time today because, like I said, I'm on a motherfucking four-hour schedule because my mother's here from 3 all the way to 8 in the morning. And I I'll tell y'all about that as soon as I get out of this bitch house. Ugh. Yeah, it is. It, it, it's like that. I, it's straight up like that. 
Uh, I, 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 the bitch is about to have a goddamn breakdown, y'all. I'm like, ooh. She, this, this thing right here racks my nerves every day. Like, every single day you got to party and overindulge. Like, when you gonna have a fucking enough? And then your motherfucking ass complain every payday that you're broke and you owe everybody this and that and the third. You got people rolling up at the house wanting their darn old money. And you you just really need to handle that. What the fuck they gonna do? Like, like... Oh, well, I got to pay. I don't want no problems with him. What the bitch gonna do? Kick the goddamn dough in? Like, get the goddamn gun and waste his ass. See, that? See the, that's the deeper wine that y'all don't want to see. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, deeper wine is about that life on the low. It's like, what is somebody gonna do? Kick the darn gun dough in? I can easily toss their ass right back out the motherfucking dough. And if they come in with backup, I'm sure a piece of steel up in the darn gun closet... I can fire off several rounds that can get them out the house real quick. You can talk like you about that life, but Diva One is about that life. So, yeah, but it's like, why I get involved in shit? Only because she's my mother, and I'm here. But I, I can't wait till I get away from this dang old situation right here because of her darn old party and foolish ways. Like I said, have me up to 2 o'clock in the morning. Can't get up till 10 because, you know, I got to have my eight hours of sleep. And then this is just holding everything up. J just holding everything up. And then if I don't hear about this bike today, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get me a, some insurance tomorrow. I'm going to purchase me some non-owners insurance. And we're just going to go ahead and get this darn on lights out of the way. So at least I have that under my belt. And I can just go ahead and start renting cars out for the time being. Because I yeah, I can't deal with this much longer. This bank got I'm getting all these motherfucking darn on from this darn on phone, but ain't near one of them for my darn on bank telling me about this darn on loan. And like I said, if I don't hear from them today, come Thursday, I am going ahead and get me some darn on insurance. Um Hopefully, I can start using it within the same day. If not, it's okay. As long as I get it within two weeks. Within two weeks of having that insurance, I'm applying for my darn on license. We're going to already say I'm going to pass it. I'm going to fuck up on the parking, but they shouldn't judge me enough on the parking where I'm going to fail. I think the bulk of the test, as long as I don't hit nobody on the highway, as long as I maintain my lane, God damn it. Like, this is, this is ridiculous. But when it comes to my driver's test, as long as I don't hit nobody on the highway, as long as I know how to stop, I know all the signs, um, yeah, I know how to go on rural roads. Only thing I don't know how to do is park. Yeah, I feel like a motherfucker every time when it comes to a park. I can't park to save my life. I know you're supposed to start turning that wheel as soon as you see that um, license plate of the other car that's already parked. As soon as you see the license plate, you supposed to already automatically start turning. I, I always end up crooked every time. I'm not drastic enough where I'm in the other person's, you know, spot or anything like that. But, yeah, it's never a perfect, clean, straight in. It's always a little bit off. So, I'm, I'm already, you know, I'm going to fail on that one. But, as far as on the road, I can drive on the road all day long. I can drive and maintain distance. I'm not on the yellow line, none of that. I'm not following somebody. I'm always... Uh, a car length behind somebody, so if an accident was to occur, I can slam on the brakes and I don't end up pushing in front of the, I don't end up hitting the car in front of me or anything like that, so I know how to drive in that regard, I just can't park, it's the simple shit I don't know how to do, like you judge me all day long on the driving, but when it comes to even so much as trying to turn on the darn on windshield, like, and that was another tragedy in darn on school. Like, when I went to darn on school for driving, it was like all the motherfucking shit happened to me. Like, when the motherfucker, that it was two of us. And every time he was behind the wheel, I always end up driving last. And this is giving me flashbacks to our uh, driver's ed. He drives, it's sunny outside. As soon as I get behind the wheel, it's storming. 
It's not like raining. It's storming and lightning, and we still driving. So it's like, and then I get points to do it. I'm like, I, I had to get a damn bonus. I was the only one that drove in real life situations. He drove and during on sunlight. Nice and breezy. It's like that mother nature, that bitch. We have a darn on look, hate relationship with it. that mother nature has something out for me. Cause every time we've been talking about mother nature on my channel for the better part of four years that I've been on here for my hair to events, she always wanted to cut up. And when it came to driver's head, child, darn gone, it was storming. And I still had to the lightning and all. Windshield ripers. Going fast and you still couldn't barely see. What else I got deducted for? Um, oh yeah, nighttime driving. Usually I was scheduled to drive two o'clock in the evening, and the first person had to drive at one o'clock, one to two, and I drove two to three. Um, how about um our instructor had a um doctor's appointment, so during my time to drive. We had to wait. I had to wait until later on that day. So, yeah, I had to wait till like 7. So, I drove it. I was the only one that actually drove at nighttime as well. So, let's get this right. I drove in the storm and rain. I drove at nighttime. And you're going to do, of, of all things, I should have got bonus points. But anyways, yeah. long as it's not storming that day, we should be we should be fairly well. And even if it's storming, I think I can still maintain a dis a decent um <sighs> even if it's storming that day, I should be overall well. But that's about it. That's all that's going on with me. Um I'm gonna go on ahead and apply for this darn on. Well not apply, I'm just gonna go on and get it's not I'm automatically approved for it. It's just a matter of coughing up the darn on money, like goddamn. A hundred and seventy dollars just for a darn gone one month. Like a hundred and seventy dollars. I can't get over that shit. And then I'm going to progress. I wanted to quote me at $282. Yeah, you keep waiting on that. Darn gone, I ain't giving them 282 I've seen another one that offered me 180 No, $169 I got to come out for. Unowner's insurance. Ugh. Only in North Carolina. We got jacked up insurance. You got to come out of you got to come out of pocket for all this money for a darn insurance just to get a license. You got this darn on anti gay law. You got darn on discrimination for people who have not worked a traditional job. So it's like all these darn on negatives against me, and then you fought me for being on food stamps. Like motherfucker, y'all don't make it darn on. I'm talking about the government. Y'all don't make it motherfucking easy for somebody to be darn on independent. Y'all always want to talk a shit about somebody being on some government assistance, but you always making it hard for a motherfucker down to the goddamn license. Well, maybe if I didn't, if you think about it like this, if I didn't have to come out a hundred and seventy dollars for a dang on. Um, insurance, I, that could have gone towards food. You, did you ever think of it like that? It's, and this is stuff that I want to bring to the darn on governor, <laughs> the our new governor, because I ain't in, I ain't in engaging in no conversation with, I ain't doing no petition or none of that with darn on Pat McCoy. We don't need nothing else from you. You, you can just go. By the time we get, because this is not an overnight thing, how to get our economy back successful here in North Carolina, it, it, it takes time. And by the, we yeah, you need to go. It's gonna be more than eight months, and you only got eight months left. We ain't giving your ass another motherfucking two years. So that is it, y'all. That's my stress from the president, from the president to the darn gone governor. To this insurance situation, to this license thing again. I, I sound like a motherfucking robotic record, which is why I don't even want to be coming on camera at the darn gone time because it's like I don't got nothing new to talk about. I haven't felt like doing no makeup, haven't felt like doing no hair care videos, none of that. It, uh, shit, I ain't even do nothing special for my four year anniversary on YouTube because of all this drama that's going on. 
right now, but we still gonna keep it pushing. We're gonna keep it moving. Cause somehow, some way, we're gonna get through this. And then my darn on year anniversary of me starting school to become an institution is coming up on the 15th. So it would be a good memory on the 15th of April. Let me go on ahead and see what day that's on. I want to say it's a Wednesday. Uh, nope, it's a Friday. So by Friday, April 15th, I want to say at least I can say a year ago for Flashback Friday, I can say I started my journey as an institution and now I'm working. That's my goal to do within the next two weeks. The next two weeks, I like to say that I am working. Probably not because, yeah, that's just, I'm on my goal to working because I think it takes as much as two weeks for the license to come in the mail. So, oh God, this is the, see, this is the stress I go through. Like, even if I was to get my darn gone insurance tomorrow, I still got to study like a, a good week for the darn gone test. And it's like, oh. Yeah, I can't even leave the house until. I, I got so much stuff back there. I can't even leave next week to even go get a darn gone pamphlet for the DMV because my sorry ass mother ain't going to even take me up the road to go to the DMV for a darn gone thing. She can go drive everybody else all over town and shit, but can't even take her son for simple stuff. So, yeah. Oh, Lord. It's going to be like until April the 4th. I can't even get go over there to even get a darn on pamphlet. I study for about a week. So that that puts me at the darn on 11th. So if even if I go take my license, even if I go apply for my license on the 12th, it's like it can take as much as the 26th to the 30th for me to get my license in the mail. So it's like, oh. So I got to wait till May. I don't know how this shit going to work. I, I, oh. Really? Uh-uh. Am I able to drive? I mean, if, I, if they tell me I got... Um, I, I I passed my driver's test. Am I still able to drive without the physical license? Like, would they at least give me a sheet of paper or something um, telling me, verifying that I have um, passed and I'm just waiting for my license to come in the mail? Like, can they just give me my license number? And, you know, I, I got my state ID. Just give me my license number and let me drive. Because I can't afford them during all two weeks. Oh, girl is trying to work now. A girl, like I'm saying, a girl is trying to work now. I, I need it for my sanity. I'm going crazy being stuck in this house on a four hour time limit. I need some freedom from these walls. I need some freedom. And I ain't talking about just walking across the street. I, I need to travel. I know a bitch is not in the place to be traveling all over cities and stuff, but. Let me at least travel within my city. I'm tired of being co cooped up in the house, and the only thing I get to go to is the darn old store, and that's it. I'm holding on, y'all. Yeah, y'all send up the prayer for me because this has been tough for even one. It has it, been getting to me at times that this is the highlight of my days, just being up in this house catching. And then it's like I I I, I done got depressed where I don't even catch up with my damn shows. Like, let's go ahead and do the TV thing, y'all. Forty-four episodes behind on days of our life. Like I ain't even joking. Forty-four episodes behind on days of our lives. General Hospital. I'm catching up a little bit. I'm twenty-six episodes behind. K. Michelle, I'm six episodes behind. I done watched Love and Hip Hop. I just got to delete that out of my thing. I haven't watched Once Upon a Time. Wendy Williams, I'm 26 episodes behind. And the list goes on and on. Shades of Blue, I'm three episodes behind. And then the night is supposed to be the end of Shamar Moore playing um, Derek Morgan off of um, Criminal Minds. I haven't watched that show in a long time as far as new episodes, but I want to watch it for the farewell of him. Y'all know Shamar Moore is my secret crush. Um, 
I told y'all if I was to ever have a sugar daddy, it's, it would be him. I, oof. Like, darn on Shamar, come across this video and rescue me. You, please rescue me for this shit. I told y'all, if I ever had a sugar daddy, Shamar Moore would be the one. I, he would be the one. <laughs> and these are some stressful times where I would need a Shamar Moore right about now. But, yeah, we, we're going to push it on through, y'all. So that is it. Y'all know how we do it. It's a half hour. Um, Yeah, this is a half hour video today. But I ain't all of them that this point is. So y'all leave me y'all tips, comments, and suggestions. I'm praying. I'm truly praying. Praying. If I take this driver's test by the 15th, that it by some miracle they'll hand me a paper slip telling showing this you know giving me my license number. If they can do that, that will save me some time and some money. Because then I can start working right then and there. I can go ahead and rent a car out and I don't know if I can rent a car out with just showing my ID with my the license itself. I don't know. Yeah, so that's the stress in that right there. Like god damn. Because I, I think with a darn on car lot, you actually got to show the physical license. I got to ask around about that. Because I, I, won't, I need to be working like yesterday. And the only thing really stopping me from working is this damn license. And at this point, it's not a, we done got over the insurance issue. We done got over all of that obstacles. Now, the only obstacle left is like the time frame of my license coming. So I can get to work. Mm -mm -mm. We, we'll talk more about this in a part two because uh, this video is already 32 minutes long. It takes forever in the day to edit, the, um, edit these videos and upload it anyways. It takes anywhere from like four to plus hours. So, And then I ain't in, even attempted to do Ancestry Part 3. That's in my darn own thing as well. Uh, and that's like a darn own half hour video in itself so not part two that's already uploaded but part three that goes into my geomatch results and all of that yeah I'm looking at that right now and it's like yeah. but anyways we're cutting it off y'all go on here and send the prayer train up for me I want to try to keep my sanity I'm, I'm going to try despite this darn on party and animal that I live with I'm going to hope I keep my sanity. So that's it, y'all.